Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Sorcery. This is gonna be RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it's just to join me today as we go to this tower over here. Last episode we went, well, to that one, and this one is apparently a, a, a little death trap. We didn't die, fortunately enough. I think it's because we had the spear, but now we're going over here and trying to find new areas to uh, go to and all that sort of stuff. There's a connection over here. I probably should have taken note of that. Anyway, the moon is high. The fo you follow the path and make your way into the next tower warily. The room you find is filled with statues, frozen in various poses. An icy hush fills the air. Is this a gallery of some sort? Uh... Why would they be in various poses? I think I'll be fine. Let's sleep between the statues. You step further into the room. There is no furniture, and uh, from the dust it seems no one has been here in a long while. The statues make the room hard to navigate. They cluster and clutter the floor. Okay, um... So... The room is frozen. Icy... Hush fills the air. The statues are frozen, so it seems that they are either gonna become alive, or they were people like myself, and, uh... I'm just gonna cast a sus. I think I should be able. If I can cast a duck, I'll cast it right away. But I don't. I don't think I'll be able to cast a duck in here. I don't have a, zu a sus either. I don't know why the game is giving me uh, spell things. Uh, but yeah, we got a demon rock over here. Not interested in that. Uh, we got the yob. That's for a giant. That'd be an interesting thing. But I only have one, so let's not go with that. Let's go with yap. Uh, talk with animals now. I uh, ooh, yeah, rap, rap, rap is a good one. I can't. Uh, what about the, uh, how? Oh, how is good. How is always good. Go with that. You cast a spell. A strange place for a gallery, the voice says. Do not linger. Yeah. Leave by the open door. The statue stares at you back at the... Okay, let's... That was... That was okay. Yeah, I think I think that would have just been my death. Uh, if uh, anything terrible would have happened. You return to the path and walk a short distance. The moon sl moves slowly across the dark sky. You stop just by the ruined entrance of the, uh... Tower to the east. Didn't want to do that, actually. I wanted to cast a spell there, but uh, whatever. Doesn't matter. So, uh, drop a stone. No, I'm not going to sleep here, although I probably could. Let's go west through here, and I think that will lead me to that tower and then around. Yes. The night is drawing on. You enter the next tower. This tower contains a single bare room. There's no furniture, but a rancid stench fills your, no your nostrils. Uh, let's use my nose plugs. You pull out your nose plugs and push them firmly into your nostrils. The smell fades away and your mind clears. You search the room checking for traps or switches and then you take one step towards the center of the room and then the floor disappears. You are falling. Your arms flail as you tumble down. You hit the stone floor, bruising your side somewhat. Above, the light of the room filters down. Huh. Showing sheer high walls. You have fallen into a pit. I'm gonna draw my sword. Following an instinct, you draw your sword as you examine your surroundings. Looking around, you see you are in a wide pit with walls reaching far above your head. The pit is dark and with the edges with the edges in shadow. Even with your nose plugs in, you can catch a whiff of rotten meat and wet vegetables. There is a small bundle near the center of the pit, but before you can consider it too closely, something moves somewhere in the shadows. Apparently, I can't... Rotten meat and wet vegetables. That's gonna be somebody living down here. I can't cast a spell, unfortunately. Let's investigate the bundle. You walk towards the bundle, breathing down uh, through your mouth. You squat for it, only to freeze. A growl comes from the shadows. Oh, and a large beast emerges. A skunk bear. The, be the beast roars. Its thick, stripped tail, stri uh, thick striped tail, quivering and razor uh, razor claws displayed. Why can I laugh at the creature? You laugh. The sk a skunk bear is no match for you, however unappealing it may be. The monster roars, and then two more walk into view. Well, that laugh right there reminds me of a spell called Six. And I might be able to cast it right now. Yeah. Clone the caster. Looking at the stars, you craft the magic, and five clones step out from behind you, forming a semicircle. The clones, protected from the spell, the smell by their own cloned nose plugs attack the skunk bears a vicious melee ensues the skunk bears twisting and slashing as your clones dart in and out eventually only you and one skunk bear remain well i didn't why didn't i know that uh my clones would fight 
Well, I wouldn't say that a skunk bear is no match for me. Look at the size of that thing, and also look at the power. Looking to the stars, you craft the magic, and five clones step out from behind you, forming a semicircle. Uh, oh wait a minute, that's uh, okay. So that I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna well hmm, apparently. Uh, I'm not gonna risk it anything, so I'm just gonna go. I got 11 points of attack, which means that uh, by here we're probably gonna have nine points of his attack. I'm gonna go with a nine. He went with an attack, which is kind of surprising, but also really, really good. A 3.9 that's gonna bring down his strength over to there, so I think a full attack here is gonna get him if I wanna go that way. The foul beast has two weapons its long claws and its terrible smell. The nose plugs will help protect you at least. Killing it quickly will be your best chance of avoiding losing your last meal. You swing your sword in a mighty arc. The skunk bear sh stops short, uh, short way away from you and uh, swipes with its enormous paws. You chop it away, drawing thick blood. It stomps and staggers. It can barely stand. Afraid of you, it rears back. Claws raised. So it's gonna go for a small attack. Please tell me it's a small attack. Oh, it's what it was a defense. Okay. So, I now know, when he raises, when he steps back and raises his claws, he's defending. Standing firm, you swing a mighty blow at the skunk bear, but it has read your intention and drops in a crouch. It grunts as it limbers back. Uh, it squeaks and snuffles, standing up on its hind legs. It's gonna go for a power attack. There it is. A defense there is the best one I can do. You can almost smell the creature growing enraged and duck quickly into a crouch, lumbering forward. The skunk bear thumps forward, cr claws raised. It drops to all fours and roars. It's gonna go for a, uh... It's gonna go for a medium attack. Let's go with that. Yeah, for a small attack. There's either two modes. There's either the fast, the power attack, or the small one. And I can never tell where it's gonna be the the small one. You risk an attack, dropping your weight. You chop a mighty stroke against the skunk bear, catching it with a light blow. The skunk bear emits a new terrible odor, the smell of fear, perhaps. It stumbles away, tail whipped high. Uh, power attack here. That was a, a bad move. That was a bad move. Back against the wall, you deliver a mighty swing at the skunk bear, but it knocks you aside with a paw. The skunk bear staggers badly wounded. It drops its weight and growls, and it's gonna get me if I do this. So, it's gonna go for a small attack. It shouldn't. Yeah, it shouldn't get me, because he... Th I think... I think what happens is different creatures have different small attacks, and his are very low, so he's actually... That was pretty good. Sidestepping, you slash out to the skunk bear. Then your sword finds a soft place in the skunk, bear, skunk bear's body. The beast roars and topples over quite dead. It was actually quite quite pretty and interesting as for an animal. Uh, I mean, for, for a beast. It's not really a beast, just a wild animal, I guess. Um, or not really a monster, I mean. All three bears are dead. You are free to explore, protected from the smell. Okay. You are able to search a pit more thoroughly, or the pit more thoroughly. In addition to the bundle, there is nothing of value here. But on one wall, you make an important find. A leather. Oh, black metal rungs fixed into the rock wall of the pit. Okay, so it's not a rope ladder. Oh, I, I would prefer that. Um, let's look through the bundle first. You take what little time you have to unwrap the cloth. Inside is a little collection of objects, as though some curious religious traveler had died down here. A white wax candle and a scrap of paper. You cast your eyes over the scroll poment. The first... Oh, there's the spells. Damn it. I, I'm gonna need to go back, ain't I? <sighs> well, I don't think time is of the essence. I need to remind myself of that. First is uh, a fireball. Fire. The second one is of stone. So... That would be a fix, maybe? I don't know. I also need to heal before I go there. The third one is unseeable. The third one is, of course, the uh, is of course the invisibility. I'm writing it down, by the way. Ability. Yeah, that's why I'm I'm also pa pausing. Uh, and the fourth one is unknown. So we know there's four, and uh, it shouldn't be too hard to guess uh, because there's only so many spells that we have. Uh, but yeah, time to get out of this pit. You climb up the ladder, thankful to leave the smell behind. You clamber back up to the floor level once more. Look down into the pit. You look down into the pit. The dead skunk bears are raising a stench which will only grow worse. Thankfully, there is enough space around the outside of the pit to carefully edge around. Um, this would make no kind of place to sleep, after all. Yeah, with the smell and all that, I suppose it would, pre it would be pretty bad. I should probably have taken some... Precautions here to not die because the night when the day when it comes, it's gonna kill me. 
So I'm gonna go over here into magical items. I'm gonna drink one of these. It's not amazing, but I can do that. And also I can pray to Quarian. No, he's sitting back. He doesn't help me in, in the middle of the night. What the hell is wrong with the game? Why is he telling me all these things? You got music, but it doesn't... Hmm. Did it update? He probably did. Uh, you continue over the next bridge to the tower beyond. One by one, your, clone van your clones vanish. A feeling of safety descends on you like a cloak. It is as though you have been standing in a storm and now have walked into its eye. This place feels protected, simple, calm. Well, I'm gonna cast a sus. You open your arms to cast a spell but find nothing. It is as though you stand below an empty spot in the heavens, if such a thing is even possible. At any rate, you are quite without magic here. Um... Look around first. You look around the empty space but find nothing, until in one corner you discover a small etching on the floor. It simply reads, Can't see me here. Huh. I'm gonna rest here. Sleep here, I mean. Not rest. That's the difference. I think there might be a difference there. Removing your pack, you try to settle despite the strange noises that drift through the air. I'm gonna eat something. You eat the cooked fish, feeling a little better for it, then you lie back and try to forget your troubles. You seem guarded here, and you do not dream. You ate one provision and lost a bit of gold, and found three new clues. Actually, I threw away... I threw away uh, the gold, I didn't lose it. You wake up feeling refreshed and calm. Nothing in, its pr nothing in this protected space has changed. There is nothing stopping you from moving on in any direction, but as soon as you step outside, you feel the clouds of Manpang gathering overhead once more. There is a path to the south, but it has crumbled into ruin a short way along. A uh, walkway leads off to the east. Okay, so the path to the south... I don't actually know where it leads to. This is the west, and that's the east. So the south... There is? Wait a minute. Uh, so... Yeah, south is this way, so you can't go that way. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was mixing it up because, you know, this, this is down and, you know, whatever. Let's go over here, and that's where we need to go anyway. The path across the water ends outside the next tower. And despite there being a door, you cannot go further. It is surrounded by a curious shimmering shield. Peering through the shimmering force field, you make out some kind of room beyond. There is a... Oh, that's right. This is... This is what it... That's why it sounds like this. It sounds... You know what it sounds like? The beacons. Doesn't it? Peering, uh, so, peering through the force, force field, you make out some kind of room beyond. There is a table and what appears to be a small pile of yellow sand. Hmm. Okay. So, I'm gonna... What am I gonna be able to cast, first and foremost? No dock, unfortunately. We got Raz. That's for Sharpened Blade. Don't need that for right now, I don't think. I'm not gonna be able to destroy the shield with a blade. I got Mud, which makes it people... Oh, requires Quicksand. Oh, it's it's for Quicksand. It requires Sand, I, I have that. And we have Zap. I would have preferred the Zip. And we have the How. Well, let's go with the How. So, the force field surrounds the tower in all directions. It cannot be broken. This tower is clearly shielded by a spell of some kind. You run your hands over the smooth force field. It is definitely magical in nature. It has the subtle give and deep strength of our force field bubble. But how is it so large? And how is it has it lasted for so long? And who is casting it? Uh, so it can't be broken. I'm not going to do that. Uh, so if I can find a way in there. I think this might be the spells that we require. That fourth spell, though. So I got Raz, which makes it uh, Sharpened Blade. Okay, I always forget about that one. I can just click over there now. It's, uh, the, the previous games didn't. Uh, and then we have the Hot, which is a Fireball. Don't really need that. We have the um, Mud, and we have... So we have Zap, and we have Raz. Okay, and that's that. So there's no way to get through here. I'm going to move on. There's no way forward, then. The shield blocks the path completely. Yes, it... Oh, wait a minute. That's bad. Oh, no. Oh, no! I'm gonna need to go all the way back. It's gonna take so long. Okay, well, if it's gonna take long, it's gonna take long. Let's go. Okay, yeah, just edge away from that that thing. Over here is where... Okay, that's all fine. And over here is where you can connect back to this one, I think. So... Nope. This is the, no, that's the one with the vines. Okay, so from here I can go south. And then from here... Uh, but yeah, this is the one I, where I need to cast the how, otherwise I'm just taken somewhere. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to need to cast the how. Man, I'm getting through my stamina, like, really fast. Really fast. 
I mean, we're gonna get we're gonna get a replenishing for the stamina, but I think. But yeah. So leave the chamber and let's go through here. And then this is the Goblin Tower, I think. Uh, don't look anywhere. Just continue. Oh no! Damn it! What? Ah. Uh. Yeah, I know. Cast another spell. We're gonna be healed, though. We should be okay. We should be okay. Okay, so let's go with the... Uh, how? I need to look at... It's so weird. Okay, leave the chamber. You saw what happened? You saw what happened? I... Yeah, you can go back and watch, but... So, another walkway leading between two doors. The south door is closed, while the north one hangs ajar. Look at the south wall. Oh, yeah. So, you approach the tower door. The door is in the side. It's exactly the same as the door on the other side, except there is no sign. Open the door. You turn the handle. The door opens easily once more. Enter. And, uh... Extremely well guarded. Wait a minute. You step through... Oh, this is... Oh, this is... Oh, that's right. Where I need to cast the, uh, the zip. Man. Man, so many towers. Oh, boy. And... We just wasted the opportunity to cast that on the globe. So here we are. This is the Goblin Tower, I believe. That one is the... Uh, uh, no, this is the... the yeah, the, the Terrible Tower of Time or something. I'm not really sure what that is for. I have no idea what that is for. It's not, it's not that I'm not really sure. It's I really, really don't know. So I could jump off the walkway over here. But that is going to get me nowhere? I'm not going to do that. There's no way. Let's just move along the walkway. And uh, try the... I don't know which door. The south one. Right? I think that was that was the correct one. Let's go, let's go. Oh, this is the ram. You see that over there? Yeah, there's symbols. There's symbols. Okay, wait. What did he say? You can't go back through there? Okay, let's, let's, let's see what it said. Holy crap, you can't get out of here? I know it's well guarded, but it doesn't matter. You are back on the walkway between the two towers. The wind picks up, but the south tower, uh, tower door is locked, and no amount of kicking and banging making it uh, makes it open. There's no choice but to turn back. The bricked up, the bricked up door hangs open, now all but broken out. Yeah, I know. So we're just going round and round in circles for all for the whole day. I'm gonna jump off, but will you survive the drop? Yes. You push yourself off the walkway and fall. You land with a splash in the water below. It is not deep, coming up only to your ankles. Okay, look in the water. The water below seems quite endless, and though it barely, it is barely knee-deep here, you cannot see the bottom. Elsewhere, it is perhaps deeper. More curious, though, is why it is here. Is it collected from rainstorms, or does it serve some kind of purpose? I'm gonna wait for it. You splash onwards through the water. I can't really go anywhere from here. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, what have I done? Holy crap, no, this is terrible. Oh, this is terrible. This is terrible. The water gets deeper and deeper as you approach the path and you are forced to swim the final few strokes to reach a plateau in the water in the path. Of course, all of your water damageable possessions had been ruined, including goblins the goblins pre pre precious precious parchment. Thankfully, however, the pages of your spellbook are all protected, but all of your soft food has been ruined. Still your your fleas have been washed away. Oh well. Thank you very much. Uh So I think the only way out of here is through is Apparently, I can go through there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need to cast the how. Oh my god, what about my rations? Uh, I have Bleamberry Juice, though, but that's not gonna get me too far. And I can't cast Dock. Uh, I think we'll be fine. I hope we'll be fine. Not now, not at the end. I mean, if, if terrible things happen, I can always... Well, let's try this. I can always replay through the game. Okay, so, Gorga, can you heal me? Yes, he can. Okay, there it is. Next, uh, the brass sphere is still here, resolving, revolving slowly on its axis. So we can sleep here if we want to. We have nothing to eat, but that doesn't matter. So, the first fire, the first fire, the first um, spell is a fireball. 
So let's see, what is made out of fire over here? Um, so we got F, we got far. No, it's on fire. We got zap, which creates lightning, which is kind of close to on fire, but doesn't really sound like like that. A rock demon could be on fire. I doubt it is, but huh. And then we have uh, sap, which makes a depression uh, or causes depression on people, but that's not gonna work there. And we have sus, not really interested in that. And we have sob, which is uh, a snatic cat, so that's not gonna work either. Over here we have Yaz for invisibility, that's the one. And then we have Yob, which is a giant. And then we have uh, Yap as well, which is talk with animals, that's not gonna work either. Uh, and then we have Raz, that's Sharpen Blade. And we have Rez, which is, of course, Resurrect the Dead. So, how the hell can I. What can I do here? I... Oh my god, I'm stuck? Or do I need to die here? I need to die here, don't I? I think I need to die. Let's see the far. Let's, let's see far. So, you see a vision of yourself outside. Oh, once again. Okay, so we did this. Lifting a skull cap onto your head. The vision fades. Outside a doorway. Okay, let's sleep here. Tower seems quite peaceful. Okay, you lie down to rest, but as your eyes close, visions begin to swim inside your mind. Your journey, the great tower, the Archmage sitting and waiting in his turret room, a quill pen scratching lines onto a parchment, the crown rests on his head. A tall man in a black, in black, in a black enters, swinging in through the window, a curved blade drawn. The Archmage turns and smiles. The man, blade ra raised to strike, suddenly lowers it and bows. The Archmage, younger now, enters a library in which a stately woman pours over a, an old tomb, uh, tome. He opens another volume and murmurs something, and the woman vanishes, sucked into the pages themselves. Underneath it all, the sphere in the center of this chamber hums gently, persistently, some kind of engine driving its motion. Finally, you sleep. Okay, so this is quite important, I think. So... So the tower, the crower, okay, so the archmage is waiting uh, on a turret room, a queen, a quill pen scratching in lines onto a parchment, the crown rests on his head. The tall man in black enters, but then he bows, so that's like a control, mind control thing, or maybe, mind control, I don't know, mind control. Um... Yeah, I think so. The Archmage Younger now enters the library in which a stately woman pours over an old tomb. He opens another volume and murmurs something, and then a woman vanishes. That's basic. I don't even know what that is. Underneath it all, the sphere in the center. Yeah, let's sleep. You sleep soundly enough. The sphere room. The Archmage is aware. I know it is. I know it is. It's a terrible thing. Okay, so we've slept. I don't really know how to die here. Uh, So, do we have more spells than we had? before are these yeah they're the last ones so these are yeah that's the last ones don't need that so I what no the, damn it okay so I need B oh these are oh damn it I'm always pressing the wrong ones okay so what do I have I have the F I have the far doesn't work okay forget the S not the S the F then we have S the sense danger doesn't really do anything the sob, which is a snatter cat, cannot be cast. So the sap, that causes a depression, that could be the stone spell uh, there at the end. And I got the uh, Raz, which is sharpen a blade. So if he's on fire, should we need to resurrect him? You take the vial of holy water from your pack and cast your spell. The water begins to shimmer and and uh, and shine with an inner light. Pour the holy water on the sphere. You pour the sparkling water over the sphere. For a moment, you seem to hear some kind of response from inside, but it is muffled by the metal. You can make nothing out of it. Okay. So, I think we were right there. I think... Otherwise, you wouldn't have said that, right? Um, okay, let's go with the clues. I lost so many things. I, I, I'm, I'm sure I, I've lost so many things. Um, so, glyph number three... 
Oh, we found a glyph something in the Tower of Time. Hmm. But not the thing that we read before. Damn it! it it's not written here. Oh, wait a minute. I know where it is. It's in... Uh, it's in... Uh, other items, yeah. It's over here. No? Maybe. Tinderbox, set of dice, whistle... No, I didn't take it. Uh, magical items, maybe. I still have a lot of items, so I'm not really sure. Holy water, uh, blim better juice, okay, yeah. Um, okay, so I'm gonna end the episode here. I'm gonna look for the footage where I get that, and I'm gonna trans transcribe the words exactly, uh, and I will try to figure it out next episode. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Sorcery. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I, I hope you have, <laughs> because I lost my food. <laughs> lost my food. Anyway, I, as I said, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, or if you have anything to say, leave a comment down below, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next episode. Bye-bye.